So to save your time, if you don't want to watch all the expl explanations and uh, stories, in conclusion, Nox emulator works, but not fully works, and his creator does not admit his faults and doesn't take responsibility for his product. And if Nox emulator doesn't work, in my situation it wasn't, it's not fully developed, probably software side, and I fixed it, so it works for me, but actually it was his responsibility to do it, and he ignored it and called me joke of the year. For more detailed explanation, just continue watching this video. So let's start. If you like, you can read all these emails, but I will cover main things. In time when I wrote this first letter, I haven't got any experience with N43 and 53 engines that has a direct injection and knock system like dependent things. So I just asked uh, for help to understand that system and what can I do because I wanted to remove NOx sensor, NOx catalytic converter and all other catalytic converters if possible because I know that engine itself doesn't need all these things like catalytic converters and NOx system to fully operate. As I found later it it's a little bit different in this engine configuration, but not completely different. So I had that car with defects, it was a cheap buy and has a few issues with it. I started to solve these issues, also my fault was uh, started to make modifications in the same time. Car had issues with injectors. Car from time to time through a codes like fourth cylinder is misfiring and other codes uh, about catalytic converters and NOx system. But I thought car has to run right without these systems and started to change injectors. Found a way to check them. So out of six injectors I had, two was exceptionally good and all others was out of spec a lot. So I bought two 11th class injectors, changed them, and that fixed a lot of things. Cylinder started to work without issues and cold engine shaked a little bit sometimes, but when it's warm, it worked flawlessly. The uh, only issue I had is that engine output was not right. It had no torque till 2000 rpm. After 2000 rpm it pulled uh, all right and no issues, no misfires. So I started to investigate that because I knew that couldn't be normal. But also I haven't tested the uh, car with same engine that's fully working. So I couldn't fully check things. Is this are working right or not? how it has to behave and so on. So I wrote first letter for Bimmer Proofs guy, read about this uh, Nox M, Nox emulator. I'm sure this guy has invested a lot of his time to investigate these engines and also to create Nox emulator, probably, I'm not sure, but let's say he has created that Nox emulator. And at the time that was only hope for me, where can I start to investigate my issues. I haven't read a lot of his post because he posted a lot of posts, posts and I thought maybe I'll write him directly to ask a few questions and if he know how this uh, NOx system work, it would be easy for him to ask and point me where I need to go and what to check and so on. I wrote on this letter that I'm confused and I don't know how this system exactly works, can you explain? Also, what things I have done, that I removed all catalytic converters and NOx system. So before I'm buying all these catalytic converters for a lot of money, I thought I will ask him, maybe there's a cheaper solution, better solution or something. And his answer was, basically, you can tow this car to the junkyard first sentence. Wow. 
Actually, in his situation, with my current knowledge about NOC system, I would answer something like, you cannot remove CO converters, which are on the exhaust manifold integrated, and also you can't trick or program out CO converters monitoring probes, because this system is too smart, too hard to hack, and I haven't found a solution for that, something like that. And if I want the system to work, I need to install CO catalytic converters back and all the probes. And if I don't want to install back NOX converter and NOX system, I can use NOX emulator. And with all this, I will get fully working system. He had to answer just that. He wrote that I cannot remove CO catalytic converters and he pointed to his uh, posts. That was a good idea because I learned a lot in this. I understand that explain same thing to 100 people per month is not a fun thing. It's much better to give a link to his post. I can't judge for this a lot. So I answered him that I read his post, a lot of posts, I learned a lot, but I haven't found post where he tries uh, cattle converter triggers. Thing you see in screen now, it's like little cattle converter, so gas flows into probe a little slower for older vehicles that tricked CO converter probes, but for this uh, it's more advanced and couldn't trick. So he answered that uh, there is no way to trick these probes, cannot be cheated, and CO catalytic converters couldn't be installed uh, not original because efficiency is different and also ECU throws codes that I haven't tested. I installed original one in the end. Basically he wrote that it's impossible and when someone writes it's impossible but I know it's possible so my question is, have you tried or you think it's impossible? Maybe you haven't, so we can solve something. And he asked triggers, what's triggers? Also gave these links to his posts, which I missed. That was my mistake, because I would learn a lot of things and didn't have to ask for him questions. But I missed these and answered him like, yes, these tiny catalytic converters. Like, how can you call this it's tiny catalytic converter? I thought he doesn't understand, haven't seen any of them. He haven't answered anything, and I asked again, has he tried this combination? I just needed simple answer. And also, by reading his posts, like this one, I found a mistake in his post, that he haven't mentioned that 125 kilowatt version of N43 engine has more things different and most important is camshaft. Then he answered, dear friend, I already answered your questions. So he hasn't answered my questions, he just gave me a links that let's say he has no time or something but it's very very hard sometimes to find some exact information you are looking for from hundreds or maybe thousands of his posts so it won't be hard for him to answer just simple question unless he hasn't tried ashamed <laughs> i don't know so i learned nothing and at this point i I didn't know he's tried that or he haven't tried and I answered okay then I will let you know <laughs> also it's my fault that I haven't clicked on these links he provided about uh, probes and uh, tricking them and uh, so on so that's a little my fault anyway his communication is not right simple thing he could sell me his Nox emulator but he decided just to answer, tow your car to the junkyard. He answered, oh, you made my day. Then I tried things and learned a lot. I tried to fix this car maybe one month now. I learned from his posts, I learned myself, I learned things that he mentioned wrong. So anyway, I got in the corner where engine is still not working fully. 
but I bought uh, Nox emulator from him, so that can fix my problems. Still haven't installed any catalytic converters. Now my configuration is free straight exhaust manifold without catalytic converters, straight exhaust actually used from 2 liter diesel because why not it's cheap and straight and also installed CO cattle converter probe installed trigger that I hoped will help trick ECU so ECU thinks that cattle converters is in place and also installed Nox emulator probe which is wideband sensor plugged into Nox emulator box so Nox system started to work like uh, no fault codes about Nox system and the uh, engine started to work in stratified mode which is main thing about this engine you can read about this stratified mode in his posts and i will not uh, get very deep into this but it's a good thing and it's a main thing that i needed to reach so it started to work and after few kilometers i all the time get CO cattle converters fault codes. CO cattle converters is integrated in exhaust manifold again, so you will not be confused. So I tried uh, many variations of tricking that CO cattle converter probe, but it was unsuccessful. And also torque up to 2000 RPM hasn't fixed, so I decided to bring CO cattle converters back. I bought this used in good condition so I just looked inside the probe holes and seen that these in good conditions so installed them and straight away car started to pull from the bottom of the rpm to the highest that issue till 2000 rpm is just disappeared just because the exhaust manifold with cattle converters and that's most likely is just architecture in that uh, exhaust manifold and also CPU program to suit that exhaust manifold. So that was alright, but I still get this CO cattle converter fault code. Exactly the same every 10 kilometers or so uh, steady driving. Uh, city driving I will not get uh, codes and also I haven't got these codes with my straight exhaust manifold but it was just bad torque till 2000 rpm but with cattle converters, CO cattle converters torque came back but fault codes stayed so I was desperate and installed Nox cattle converter back in place and also full exhaust, full original exhaust and voila, I have fully working system, no fault codes just straight away after I installed full original exhaust. Okay, maybe I thought uh, there's something in exhaust di diameter that I installed earlier from diesel engine. Maybe there's pulses delay or something. I just enjoyed that it's working and because this Nox emulator guy said that Nox cattle converter can be removed using Nox emulator. So I again removed just Nox cattle converter and installed just a resonator in place of it. Same like he said I can do. Like in his posts he never said to me that. And as soon as I removed Nox cattle converter codes were back. Same codes about CO cattle converter efficiency which is on paper not related to Nox system. Nox cattle converter is in the middle of the of the exhaust and after that it's just a Nox sensor. So again I got desperate and installed same shitty cattle converter trigger. Installed it in Nox emulator probe. Like uh, installed that trigger into exhaust pipe where Nox emulator probe has to screw in. And then Nox emulator probe screwed in that trigger and who could have thought that worked again I haven't got any fault codes and everything is working now I I have done more than thousand kilometers and there is no issues so as soon as I remove Nox cattle converter or I remove that trigger I will get CO cattle converter efficiency faults 
how it is related. I wrote him all of this information so he can process that. Maybe he have experience with this situation or something so we can find a solution. Maybe he can update his Nox Emulator firmware if that's a problem and wrote him a letter. Also first words for him was First of all, sorry for not fully trusting you on the experience and blah, 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 and explained all that situation. And this letter actually was before I removed Nox Catalyst Converter. So I asked for him confirmation that I can remove Nox Catalyst Converter and have fully working system. And also, can I remove rear exhaust muffler? Because I just modify all, all my cars, it's my life. I just like to learn things and make my own things my way. So I asked two questions and he hasn't answered. Then I started to make jokes because I started to suspect that he could be a little asshole. So I wrote him, I will check this myself and let him know. And also asked a question about uh, Nox emulator probe. If it goes bad, can I expect uh, to throw some code into original ECU or something? Because that's logical, that's a smart question. And he answered that nothing, he, an he answered nothing. <laughs> he just offered me to buy something from him, from his website. I bought from him Nox emulator already and he wants me to buy some diagnostics and couldn't uh, answer some simple questions. I bought Nox M. You have enough. And he tries to make fun back. And later I removed that Nox Catalyst converter. So a little angry wrote him a letter again. That his Nox emulator is not doing its job. What's the job of it is to ignore Nox Catalyst converter and also just fully emulate original Nox system that all the information that sends original Nox system to the ECU, Nox emulator has to emulate all this information that uh, ECU wants, all this information be like perfect because this way you won't get any fault codes, fully working system with stratified mode and so on. So I explained him situation that I replaced Nox cattle converter with resonator and after 5 km steady drive I got fault codes that points to CO cattle converter efficiency and suggested him to finish his programming. So he answered, dear friend, the errors you mentioned related to CO convertors, not the Nox system. Here I learned that he doesn't know shit about this. Like Nox system, how it works, maybe Nox sensor at first. Nox sensor can sense in the exhaust gases Nox content, like Nox is uh, pollution, something like that. So it can sense Nox content into in the exhaust gases and lambda signal. It's like air fuel ratio. Two things are going into Nox controller. Controller absorbs that information, gets ready to send to the ECU. So sends to the ECU NOx content and lambda signal like air fuel ratio. And then ECU decides what to do with that information, throw a code or like basically monitors efficiency. So NOx emulator has to emulate that. But NOx emulator uses wideband sensor. Wideband sensor can sense only air fuel ratio. It cannot sense NOx content. That sensor sends air fuel ratio to the NOx emulator. NOx emulator takes that information, calculates best uh, NOx content information and that sends to the ECU and also calculates, actually just monitors lambda signal air fuel ratio and sends also to the ECU because it has to work like original system. The issue is NOx emulator does not modify air fuel ratio signal. And what's wrong with it? I will explain a little bit later. First, I need to explain how CO converter probes monitors efficiency of CO converters, catalytic converters. Exhaust gases flows to the catalytic converter. Catalytic converter absorbs oxygen if there is uh, oxygen in the exhaust gases if it's a little lean and then continues to go into exhaust system like uh, goes through 
CO catalytic converter efficiency probe. That probe sees mixture is ideal or something like that. Actually it could be a little leaner than it was before cathode converter because cathode converter takes excess oxygen. Later when mixture to the exhaust manifold goes a little rich it goes through CO cathode converter and CO cathode converter gives some oxygen to the richer exhaust gases so these can burn fully burn like be ideal mixture that gases after cathode converter flows through CO cathode converter probe and CO cathode converter probe sees mixture a little leaner than before cathode converters also it compares uh, before cathode converters oxygen and after cathode converter oxygen and decides if CO cathode converter is efficient or not if it's not efficient then after cathode converter exhaust gases doesn't change like uh, doesn't get leaner or richer or it gets leaner and richer much faster like uh, nothing is taking excess oxygen and nothing gives oxygen to a rich mixture to make it not so jumpy so i'm getting co cathode converter efficiency faults but my co cathode converters is in good condition. CO cathode converter probe is also in place in original position without any triggers and anything so it has to see true values like if mixture is good if it's not uh, jumping faster than it should so ECU has not to throw codes but it throws. So why is that? I remember I said that NOx system measures mixture also so it can measure that uh, jumpy mixture th changes also and for example if i remove nox catalytic converter we will get more jumps because there is no catalytic converter to slower that jumps and that is the reason why after i removed nox catalytic converter i got co catalytic converter faults because car ecu reads NOx system's air fuel ratio that is getting if it's too jumpy then from factory then something is wrong but NOx content in exhaust system is perfect because NOx emulator sends it's perfect so only thing that could be bad is CO catalytic converters that's why I get CO catalytic converter faults and when I installed that trigger on NOx emulator probe that trigger made these jumps slower. Our NOx emulator guy suggested me to learn the basics, but basics I have learned long time ago at this point, and there's nothing in that post that explains my issue. Then I made these modifications with catalytic converter trigger. As you can see, this is my exhaust. Basically, it's fully stock. Uh, just installed second resonator in place of NOx cathode converter here is a NOx emulator probe going to NOx emulator box and yeah here is my trigger installed so I sent that information for him said that he needs to learn basics and I fixed his shit explained again what I have done and what worked and what I have changed and what changes so what he has done he made a post without asking anything actually he he doesn't need to ask anything I said for him most of the information he could ask and didn't investigate that situation try to understand what is happening in my situation learn something and update his Nox emulator so we can learn something new and make it better but he decided to make a post and just decided my situation what i have done wrong wrong and so on he said a lot of things that he hasn't know or said it wrong why i have no idea you can read this post uh, it's in video description if he still haven't removed it but i will point most important parts truth though this person named these inserts as mini converters mini cathode converters which allowed me to assume this is no even basic knowledge so when i asked him 
can these triggers work in my situation? He asked triggers. Then I thought he, <laughs> he don't know what trigger is. I attached photo which looks like mini cathode converter. How, how can you call this different? <laughs> so what I have done wrong? I sent uh, this person several links. That's good. Thank you. But we could owner asked a few more questions uh, about the same thing because you haven't answered me these simple questions. Yes, you attached these posts. Thank you. I by mistake I haven't read some. I missed them, but you simply could answer this in few words. Anyway, that's not a main thing. He write he wanted me to test it and then give me a feedback. I <laughs> I just asked if he has tried this because he, if he hasn't tried this he don't know is, if it works so that's bullshit later I said I will try it myself because you haven't answered my question a moment later this person pushed Nox emulator without any additional questions how many questions I had to ask for you to answer me normally like not a robot but he hasn't answered so I decided to fix my car myself because he couldn't help me so that's why I bought Nox emulator and he writes looks like the car has serious problems with CO cattle converters but man I just wrote you that I installed this and, and also you, you haven't asked the condition of this CO converter so you can be sure you just wrote anything from your mind just to justify yourself maybe they are even removed <sighs> I explained that these uh, error messages have not anything to do with Nox system blah 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 and we know now that he is wrong and he, by this time he had to know it too but I'm, I don't know why he ignores that information that he hasn't learned by himself he tries to make jokes and he tries to analyze it but it's like one minute on analyzation without brains activated so this configuration cattle converter probe just sees one bank first bank so yes that's just a fact and second bank is not monitored like actively and he tries to prove that this probe sees both banks but in some pulsing situation which i think is bullshit but anyway that doesn't change anything he just thinks things and write it like a fact so he says that uh, from the second bank gases goes back to the first bank and to the probe here and uh, like that second bank uh, is monitored also most likely that's impossible maybe in some rpms but anyway that's not our issue as we know so let's call it bullshit and he mentions also why so for example at idle low required torque and exhaust gases move around so okay at idle it could monitor both banks it's in theory it's possible but at idle i never get this co cattle converter efficiency fault codes just in steady driving more than 80 kilometers now in city driving i never got these fault codes so i wrote that he skipped that information or ignored i don't know he's just making him stupid about this so he says that uh, nox sensor is too far in the exhaust system it could not monitor that efficiency but as we know facts is a fact you want it or not when you remove nox cattle converter it changes the flow just how gases are flowing and after all this bullshit he goes to my fact that i drove 100 kilometers without fault codes after installing that trigger he tries to explain that without asking me basically he says that uh, most likely my engine previously had too little time to adapt mixtures and after i installed that trigger it was just a coincidence that adaptations were done but it's not true because i reset adaptations many 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 times after every modification every fix every part change that's not true just bullshit it's just so funny 
it's clear that he did not perform it pre previously, but he hasn't asked for that. And after this post, I, I wrote him that I made all these changes. Anyway, he, he just ignored that. Also, he writes, the true performance of CO cattle converters will show after longer tests. But basically, all the time after adaptations reset, I made steady drive. And after maybe 10, 5, 10 kilometers, I get these codes back. So I get these codes back, then made a modification, reset, adaptations, again got these codes back, installed Nox uh, catalytic converter, reset uh, the adaptations, then it uh, was everything all right, then removed the catalytic converter, uh, installed resonator, re made a reset uh, adaptations, got these codes again, then installed that trigger and that made the system to work. So bullshit again. Just he made up things. I wonder how much things he made up in his other posts. Most likely a lot. After that I wrote him answer with big laugh. And no questions asked, you made these conclusions by yourself, hoping to prove yourself that you have not made a mistake. So that's my conclusion of this situation. And then I explained where he was wrong in his post and suggested him to fix his shit. But of course he hasn't admitted his faults and wrote me, you are the clown of the year. And you are the scammer of the year, my friend. Still tried to give him a chance to understand things, learn something, finally decided to write this letter in detail. Basically, I explained everything here. I put him into the corner. He just had to admit that I'm right about this thing. But as we know, he's a little asshole. So yeah, Nox emulator works, kind of but not fully works and what's the worst is his creator, his horrible person. I understand a lot, maybe not about this engine, at this point I understand about this engine too, but I do work on cars, uh, I do modify them, install pro programmable ECUs and do a lot of things with them. Many people every day ask for me many questions. Some of them are stupid, some of them are not so stupid smart. Sometimes I don't know the answer. And that's alright, because I cannot know everything. I know what I know. We discuss. I always try to explain people things so they understand in the simplest way. So they can make a good decision. Actually, I have never suggested car owner to take his car to the junkyard. It's not like I was hurt about this suggestion of him, but that's just dumb. He just don't know how to lose. Actually, it's not about losing. Just admit that it could be your fault. It could be something. Investigate that. But he made a very dumb decision. Also, this issue where I needed to install these stupid triggers, it is possible that it's only on my engine, 125 kilowatts engine. It could be programmed very different on the engines where it's got one CO catalytic converter, because CO catalytic converter probe monitors one CO catalytic converter. It's only one, so maybe it doesn't look at the lambda from the knock sensor maybe i don't know but fact is that in my situation his knock simulator doesn't work and he says it has to work so scammer situation so that's it i hope you learn something and i hope he will fix his shit in the end maybe this video will help or maybe he secretly fixed it already Few things to mention that is wrong in his posts that I learned myself. So, stratified mode activates when AFR air fuel ratio shows lean mixture. If I start the engine, now it shows ideal mixture, so it's not in stratified mode. Also, my engine is warm, warmed up. And if it's uh, cold, just st started, it will not activate uh, stratified mode. But when it's warm and just started, as you can see now, it's not in stratified mode. But if I press the accelerator a little bit, 
it goes into stratified mode. So now it's in stratified mode. EGR valve is also uh, giving gases back to the intake manifold. And stratified mode is active dependent engine load. If it's loaded a little bit, it still goes in stratified mode or uh, semi stratified mode, or it's called different, but anyway. But if it's loaded more than pro approximately 30%, it goes into normal mode. Also, what was mentioned wrong is fuel rail fuel pressure. So now it's 150 bars, and if I raise the RPM, it stays in 150. always stays in 150 and raises to 200 only when engine is loaded. In his post he mentioned that it changes to 200 when it reaches some kind of RPM, but that's not true. It can reach 200 uh, bars in low RPM range, just you need to press accelerator pedal more. As you can see when I'm driving, Now I'm gonna press accelerator and you can see that rail pressure raises up to 200. So that's another thing that he needs to learn. Also he mentioned that if you accelerate hard then stratified mode will be disabled for a few minutes or something but in reality it is disabled just for a few seconds after you go back to cruise mode also it disables only when you drive very hard I mean to the rev limiter and I think I can show example stratified mode because I haven't pushed my car to the rev limiter so it uh, haven't disabled at all stratified mode now I will try to disable stratified mode by pushing it very hard stratified mode was disabled for a little time few seconds three seconds at most but then it went back to more than 20 CFR so yeah 